Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Ontario Aquaculture Research Centre. I'm your host, Kaylee Moore, one of the agricultural assistants here at OARC. If you're looking to learn more about aquaculture, you're in the right place. On today's episode, we have Dr. Marcia Chazon joining us to discuss what aquaculture looks like in Ontario. Hey guys, I'm super excited to have you guys back. Um, today we're going to do an in office interview with Dr. Marcia Chazon. She's the manager here. She keeps this place afloat every single day. Um, I have her to here today to talk about what aquaculture looks like here in Ontario. So Marcia, do you want to start us off by telling us a little bit about yourself and your position here at AARS? Sure. I'm the manager here at the Alma Aquaculture Research Station. We're operated by the University of Guelph. Uh, this facility began construction in the late 1980s and became fully operational in 1993. Uh, I took over at this facility in 2018 from the previous manager who was here throughout that entire phase from construction to operation to uh, almost to present date. Um, at the facility, we've been doing a lot of interesting things lately, trying to branch out to different alternative species work in aquaculture industry. Uh, we've been looking at upgrading our facilities so that we can make sure that we keep pace with the growing and changing aquaculture sector here. Thank you. Um, so to start things off, we'll just talk about why is seafood farmed? So seafood farming is a fairly new thing for humans to participate in. If you think about terrestrial farming like livestock and crop farming, that's been going on for centuries, but we only really started farming seafood in around uh, the 1950s on a, on a larger scale. Um, Prior to that, most seafood was wild caught from the environment and two things started to change in the 1900s. One was the global population was starting to increase significantly and the other thing was we were starting to see some uh, plateauing or declining of wild seafood populations. So being able to farm seafood products allows us to be able to produce those things often closer to the market and it also allows us to produce a safe and high quality seafood product uh, locally without having to continue to rely on wild fisheries. Um, with that being in mind, uh, what kind of species do we here farm in Ontario? Ontario has been farming seafood uh, products for basically about 100 years. We originally started with rainbow trout and brook char and since then we've kind of diversified into a number of different species. We tried to do some Atlantic salmon farming in the 1990s and ultimately it was decided that we couldn't really keep pace with the production that was going on on both the east and west coast of Canada. So since that time the majority of our production has kind of more focused on rainbow trout but that's not all we farm here in Ontario. We have a very diverse industry where we produce uh, cold water species like salmonid fishes rainbow trout, arctic char, um, and more recently lake whitefish. We also have some warm water facilities that are able to produce non-native species like tilapia, barramundi, and white leg shrimp. And as well, we have some native species production like walleye and perch that are often produced for restocking efforts. Perfect. Where, can you give us an overview of where aquaculture is farmed in Ontario? Sure, aquaculture production happens all across this province. The majority of the processing facilities are located in southwestern Ontario. A lot of the hatcheries are distributed across the province, but there's definitely a concentration of them in central and eastern Ontario. And then if you want to look at the uh, open water net pen production, the majority of that happens in the Great Lakes, in Georgian Bay, and in and around Manitoulin Island. Uh, aquaculture here in Ontario is spread out through Ontario. Do you want to give a perspective to the consumer or people who are interested in aquaculture? What, um, how big the aquaculture industry is here in Ontario? The aquaculture industry in Ontario has been growing, which is excellent news. Uh, we typically produce about 6,000 tons of aquaculture product in this province. 92% of that production total is represented by rainbow trout. Now, if you want to look at that compared to our provincial um, neighbors, the majority of the aquaculture production in Canada happens on the coasts 
and British Columbia alone represents about 50% of the total volume of production. The East Coast is also very um, large in aquaculture production. New Brunswick is dominated by Atlantic salmon. They represent about 13% of the total. Prince Edward Island represents 13% of the total as well, but their production is primarily focused on mussels. And then Newfoundland comes in at 12% of the total. Where does Ontario fall? Well, we are currently sitting at 3% of the Canadian total aquaculture production, but we've been growing and hopefully we'll continue to grow. Even though Ontario represents only 3% of the aquaculture in our country, we're still very highly regulated. Do you want to give us a kind of an overview of what that regulation looks like? I know it's a very separate type of conversation that we could video later, but do you want to just give everyone a bit of an overview of what that looks like? In our... Um Getting started in aquaculture and aquaponics workshop, we probably spend at least an hour on <laughs> the overview of regulations and legislation in Ontario in terms of the aquaculture industry. But to say it briefly, it really depends on what type of aquaculture you are interested in. So in short, uh, we typically have flow through land-based facilities. We have recirculating aquaculture facilities that are also land-based and we often have the open water net pens. And depending on the type of aquaculture production you are planning to do, you will be regulated a little bit differently. Um, flow through facilities like the Alma Aquaculture Research Station have to take water from the ground and we also discharge water into the environment. So we have an aquaculture license with the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry and we're also overseen by the Ministry of Environment because they are the ones who permit us to take water from the ground and to discharge water. Land-based recirculating aquaculture facilities they use significantly less water and they uh, often don't have any discharge at all. So in those cases, they are not under the same constraints as a land-based flow-through facility. And then the open water net pen is completely different and they also have a different set of rules that they have to follow. Primarily, they have to do sediment testing to make sure that the materials that they're using in that rearing environment aren't having a significant impact on the surrounding area. So depending on what type of aquaculture you're interested in, you might have to be faced with different regulations and legislation, but overall the goal in all of these types of production systems is to use our environment wisely, sustainably, and uh, produce food in a safe and healthy way with as minimal disruption to the environment as possible. Thank you. I know for Ontario there is such a wide variety of different farming techniques and opportunities. Um, here at AARS, we focus a lot on research, but we also have Arctic char that we sell for consumption. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Ontario and what our focus is? Do we focus mostly on food production or do we focus on consumption? So there is a lot of food production that happens here in Ontario. Uh, most of our rainbow char production is going to be a food product that is going to end up on a plate that's going to be consumed here in this province. So that's kind of a bonus that a lot of the seafood products that we produce here are also consumed locally. Now we do have other parts of our industry as well. So we have the restocking program, which is a conservation program. It's run by the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry, and they um, work with about a hundred or so different community hatcheries that are going to be producing, um, hatching out eggs and producing small fish, uh, fry or fingerlings that they're going to be restocking into rivers, lakes, and ponds. So while most of the, uh, seafood that's produced here is going to end up on someone's plate. We also are engaged in conservation efforts as well. Perfect. So because here in Ontario, we do focus on both stocking and food consumption. Can you um, give us an overview of how important the aquaculture sector is here in Ontario? The aquaculture sector is very important. Like we discussed earlier, being able to produce seafood products here locally not only provides Ontarians with a safe and healthy seafood option uh, that they're able to consume, but also it employs a lot of people here in this province. So not only are we able to contribute directly to the food industry, but we're also contributing to the local economy in the terms of jobs. Overall, the aquaculture industry uh, contributes about $122 million to the Ontario economy, which is no small feat. 
So we're very lucky here in Ontario to be recognized as an agriculture industry. Uh, we're recognized as a food production industry and we work together with our other livestock sectors to produce affordable, high quality protein. Thank you. Uh, that's all the questions I have for you today. Uh, thank you, Dr. Marcia Chazal, for joining me and talking about aquaculture here in Ontario and the positive effects everyone is having in putting in efforts to make the aquaculture industry, industry grow. And hopefully we'll continue to grow. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you liked the video today. If you did, please swim on over and hit the like button and subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions you want answered in any of our future videos. Hope to see you next time.